Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this vest. I make this vest with a feather stitch in different colors and in the back I use a different stitch. This stitch is the mesh stitch, it's very simple and easy to make. Here I will share a picture. This was the cover of the magazine that I made and it looks so pretty and beautiful. Well, I will give you the material list. We will use 100 grams in black for the back. This material will be a light material. And for the front, we are going to use 200 grams in shades in different colors, orange, purple, green. And we are going to use the hook of number four millimeters. Well, with one thread and with their hook, we are going to start making 40 chains. This material is between light and medium weight yarn and it comes in different colors, but you can make the combination that you want. Well, after the 40 chains, we are going to make three more and then we are going to come back and count one, two, three, four, and, and in the seventh chain, we are going to make the first double crochet. Well, then two chains, and we are going to skip one and next to it taking both, both parts of the chain we are going to insert the hook and make the double crochet and like this is how we are going to make the mesh again two chains skip. and then this time we are going to skip two and in the third a double crochet so once we are going to skip one and once we are going to skip two and always we are going to make two chains at the end we must have 15 squares well at the end of the row we are going to turn around and we will go up with 10 chains so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 chains and right here in the second chain we are going to make two um, single crochet one here and one next to it well then, in the next two common stitches, two half double crochet, one here and one next to it. Then, in the next two common stitches, one double crochet, one here and one in the other stitch next to it. Well then, in the next two common stitches, we are going to do one here. This double crochet will be out of three crochet, so we will take one, then two, and then next two. Again, we are going to make the same. One, two, and the last two. Then yarn over twice, insert the hook in the next stitch, and always taking both parts of the chain like this. Take one, take two, take two, and the last two. Again, yarn over twice, insert the hook, and as you could see, we are increasing. Take one, take two, two, and the last two. And like this we will finish and we will insert the hook right where the last double crochet. And we are going to make two chains. We are going to insert the hook at the end of the next square. And then ten chains and we are going to repeat what we have just made. So each two stitches we are going to chain uh, the stitch, right? We will start first with two single crochet, then two half double crochet, then two double crochet, then two double crochet out of three crochet, and then two triple double crochet. And like this until we have something like this. Well, at the end of the row, we can turn around and we will go up with five chains. We will have this a feathers facing to the front and right here we will go up with five chains then and at the end of the first feather right here where we have this single crochet we are going to insert the hook uh, but before we have to turn over sorry so please check turn over and right here in this stitch we will insert the hook and make a double crochet then two chains 
Here we are making the row of mesh. Then two chains and right here at the beginning of the next feather we are going to insert the hook. As you could see I'm kind of taking it in relief. And then a double crochet, then two chains and here at the end of this feather, right here in this space, we will insert the hook and make a double crochet. As you could see, we are making this double crochet out of three crochet and then two chains between them. Like this, we are going to continue the whole row. Well, and like this, we are going to make three rows of mesh stitch and then again, we are going to make the row of feathers. So, see you there. Well, here I finished to make the three rows of mesh stitch. Well, here we started making a feather. Well, we are going to alternate the spaces. So, right here we will start, I will make three chains and right away I will make a single crochet at the end of the last double crochet. Then 10 chains and right here is where I'm going to put this feather. So as you could see, we are going to alternate. If in the last row of feathers we started making a feather, where in the next one we are going to skip that space and we are going to alternate the feathers. And basically we are going to make the same. We will start with two single crochet, then two half double crochet, then two double crochet, then two double crochet, out of three crochet and then we will finish with a triple double crochet and like this we are going to continue the whole row okay so this row will be of feathers and please uh, check that all your feathers are facing to the same side okay to the right side so please take that into account and like this we are going to continue making more rows of feathers. So we are going to make three rows of mesh stitch, then one row of feathers. And as you could see here, we alternate the spaces. So here we are making this one between, and we are going to continue with the coming rows. Also, we are going to alternate the spaces where we put the feathers. Well, here, as you could see, I did get ahead. I continue making more rows, don't worry because later we are going to iron them, actually the secret and the beauty of this stitch is that once we iron it, it will completely change and it will look so beautiful. I will show you how also, no worries. So I will have 4, 5, 6 and 7 rows with feathers, remember that between we are going to make 3 rows of mesh. And right there we will stop because we are going to reduce. Well, and like this is how we are going to reduce, I will show you. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we are just going to reduce like this without making any chain between. We are going to make the last double crochet of the edge. And like this is how we are going to reduce 3, 4 and 6, you see? So now here in the next row, we are going to make the row of feathers. And as I told you, we are going to alternate the spaces too. So here we are going to put this, uh, the feather right here between this one. So we will go up with 3 chains and only in the row of feathers we won't reduce until the mesh stitch. After the last row of feather, I continue making the mesh stitch and also I reduce. At the end we have 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 squares. So I will stop reducing until here in case that you want this best longer while well, you are going to reduce later, okay? But in this case I feel that the rows that I have now are perfect for the long of the best that I want. Well, like this one, I made two pieces exactly the same. One will be the uh, first front and the other will be 
the second front. So here I am. I made this segment and then I finished making a row of mesh stitch. And well, this section is the one that will be over your shoulders. Okay, so as I told you, you will decide the long of the vest that you want and you are going to start reducing later if it's the case. Okay, so remember we are going to need two pieces exactly the same with the same number of rows and everything, okay? So once you have the two pieces, we are going to start with the back and I will show you how. As I told you, we are going to iron this um, part. We are going to extend this part. We are going to put some pins here. And then we are going to use a protection under and put a fabric or a, something humid and then the iron. And with this, we will make sure that everything is in their place. Well, as a base chains, I uh, will make 80 chains, but you are going to make the number of chains that you need according to the size. In this case, I made the double of chains that I made for one front, okay? And then I continue using the same stitch, the mesh stitch. I made it in black. So once between a double crochet, I skip one space and once I skip two spaces. And like this, I continue until I get the same long of the first fronts, okay? So I have a big rectangle, I re didn't reduce or so, I continue straight and then once you have this big rectangle we are going to join. Well here I sew the shoulders and also the sides. Remember to leave the space for the armhole I use a um, white thread and also all around I will make a single crochet throw. Well with the black thread and with her hook I'm going to make a single crochet throw. I'm going to make two and then um, two single crochet inside and then one single crochet over this um, double crochet in the then here only one and then over the double crochet and like this is how I'm going to continue the whole throw. I'm going to reduce a little bit because since it seems that the bottom part of my two fronts are a little bit loose. So after this row of single crochet, sorry, I'm going to make a row of craft stitch. I will show you how. Okay, I ended making two rows of single crochet and then I will make the crab stitch. The crab stitch is like the single crochet but backwards. In this case I won't reduce, I will continue and I will keep the same number of stitches that I have. So um, this is the crab stitch, insert your hook and bring them through. And like this we are going to continue. As you could see here I'm taking two threads, then I will bring them all of them together, insert your hook and take two. Like this, the whole throw here in the bottom part with this black thread. I will show you how it looks at the end. Let's continue. Well, here I will show you how I iron. Basically, this is how I iron almost all my projects. If you don't have this special table to iron, you can use a table or your um, mattress or so. And, well, in this case, this is the secret of this um, Best. We are going to pull these feathers and we are going to pin. I have a towel under and I promise that they will look like this at the end. You will see. So I pin all of them. I extend them perfectly how I want them to be. Rem remember that the first time that we iron it's the most important. So we are going to pin all of them and then we are going to put a fabric here it's a bit humid and then we are going to pass the iron and they will look like this you will see how easy it is and how important is this step 
please don't skip. If you don't have an iron, well, you can leave it like this and you can put them under your mattress or you can put something heavier here, like some books or, I don't know, a chair or so. That uh, And you can leave them there like two or days or so and they will last like this. And this is the secret and also uh, this is a secret that I use for my projects too, for the ones that need to okay because remember that not all kinds of yarns are projects are supposed to be ironed okay just the ones that it's ne needed in this case that like we have all these feathers it's necessary and i will show you how it looks well so here we have a look and here i sharing you a picture of how the model a look with it this was the cover of a magazine as I told you and I love how it looks here I will show you the back and also here in the sleeves all around I made a row of single crochet and also of craft stitch in this case I reduce a little bit you will decide please before you reduce or made a decision please try on and see if you like it or not this is the result also uh, in the front and in the neckline I made a row of single crochet and travel stitch in these sides and this is how it looks I love the result I hope that you all uh, love it too and please before you go I want to invite all of you to subscribe to give me a like and to share this video if you like it also leave me a comment and remember that I'm new in TikTok so see you there I share more about my projects and also in Instagram and in Facebook so see you there thank you so much for watching till the end and please let me know uh, how it went for you this vest is uh, between medium R and small size so I hope that you like it thank you so much take care Bye-bye.